The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, I have two excellent comedians. First, he is the gayest and most uh, hilarious guy with a gay voice. We like to call him Mr. J.P. A gay voice. Did I say gay voice? I meant low voice. You did say gay voice. Uh, I'm kind of foggy. I mean, technically, any voice J.P. uses is... A gay voice. That right. is true. That is true. And I can do voices if that's what it's going <laughs> to <Sure>. take, fellas. <laughs> we we, that, we, we. <laughs> that sounds like fun. And yeah. we also have the 1984 Kingman County T Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. I can tell he's thrilled I, to I be here. Hate, at the risk of sounding redundant, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> oh, this man. is two weeks in a row, and that's too, too many as far as I'm concerned. That's true. That's true. I had so much whacking off planned for today. <laughs> Me too. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm still going to get some done. Yeah. Okay. But not near as much. This really puts a damper in my day. Well, it normally doesn't take you very long anyways, does it? That why would I stop at that point? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's just how I know I'm getting warmed up, Scotty. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. If this is the very first time you've ever listened to one of these shows, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and very inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. Uh, this is also an adult podcast where we like to make fa- or like to use foul language and uh, make a lot of people with thin skin very offended. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks. Bye. Woo! We got a good show today, boys. We got a good show oh, today. Man, I am. I'm half hard. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I'm pretty excited. I'm sure. Six to midnight. Once we turn the cameras on, boys. Uh, but we have an excellent show you for you this. Become week. a fucking hockey coach. Yeah. What happened there? I don't know. Uh, Gordon Bombay. That's what knock that's it the fuck off. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Sorry. Uh, but no, we got a great show. We got some headlines to go over. We got never have I ever. That's where I draw the line. Questions and preguntas. We have a draft, and as always, we wrap things up with a shitty situation. Uh, before we get on to that, uh, we also have the NFL playoffs. They were amazing. Man, I'll they, tell you what. They were amazing. I couldn't believe, believe that Buffalo game. Oh, oh, my God. My God. So good. Oh, my Detroit so Lions. Oh, my How about them? You know, oh, I mean. God. I'm just kidding. We're recording this on a Saturday. We have no <laughs> idea what, what happened. happened. Uh, I hope so he predicted the future. I, I really do. I uh, think, he, know I, I I think am, he believes he did. I think I did. I, I think I think my Lions are going to lose. I want him to win. I, I just. Uh, but the fact you're rooting for him, I want to see you sad more. Okay. <laughs> fair. <laughs> Makes I mean, perfect sense to me. That's fair. Uh, but we like to kick this show off with uh, what's been happening to us over the last week. I know Jeremy's was here like three days ago, so that probably <laughs> won't have a lot to go on. Yeah. But but uh, Mr. JP uh, hasn't been here for two weeks. Dude, what have you been up to? Man, I know <laughs> that you're going to be fucking shocked. shocked. This is really, I have been up to a little bit of stuff, you know? Yeah, I mean, I yeah. went and played some poker and... I mean, I didn't just play video games and smoke pot, but I did those things as well. That's good. Uh, the PBA's in town. so Professional Bowlers yep. Association. Yep. So okay. I went and watched some pros and uh, watched some bowling. Did Give you me ta- some tips. I was going to say, did you talk a lot of shit? No, man, because uh, they're all fucking way better than I am. No way. I, d- I doubt I it. I know just, it's hard to believe. I just know. Just be back. I'd have picked that up if I was you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I did bring my balls in case somebody needed a sub, sure. but it turns out Damn nobody it. did. Uh, uh, but it's cool. Uh, I won't bore you with details because you don't give a shit and you don't understand any of it anyway. So. Bowling? I do. Yeah, I'd like love you don't know it. any of the people. I mean, I don't. So there, there's a guy, Chris Barnes. He's from here. Uh, what about Alex Schmedler? Alex Schmedler was there, wasn't he? You know what, man? <laughs> Why'd I come here today? 
You know, it's Saturday. I could be doing anything else. You know what I could like be doing right now? <laughs> Smoking pot and playing video games. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, but anyway, Chris, it to bowlers. Yeah, but, went to Wichita State. Yeah. from here, uh, Hall of Famer now. Yeah, great fucking bowler. His son is going to Wichita State right now, and it's a major, which is just like a major in any other sport. It's, like it's a tougher yeah. condition. It's sure. Uh, his son made the TV show. Which wow, is, which wow. is Monday. That's awesome. Um, it's pretty, pretty, pretty impressive. Don't tell That's us great. who wins. Yeah, I, I don't know yet, but I'm guessing. No, I'm. Kidding. Oh, is it's it going to be Schmedler? Live? It's going to be. I think Schmedler. <laughs> Schmedler for sure. For sure. Well, yeah, Schmedler. That was. Or kind Mon- of a it given. could be Munson. He, uh, he made Thurman. No, Roy. Oh, oh okay. Roy Munson. I would like That's to see Kingpin Thurman. reference, sir. <laughs> yeah, we get it. You don't even know Kingpin. <laughs> I mean, yeah. the fuck's wrong with you, man? <laughs> I, I would still like to see Thurman Munson. <laughs> I did yeah. too. <laughs> what was he? Yankees pitcher? Yeah, right? that yeah. Thurman Munster. Uh, was he a pitcher? Or ca- I don't remember. I believe he was a pitcher, was a pitcher and yeah. that's why most people remembered his name because it sounded like Herman Munster. <laughs> or at least yeah. that's why I remembered it. Most yeah. people of my age, which, to be honest with you, both uh, Thurman Munson. And Herman Munster, little before my time, to be honest. <laughs> but that's what he ran out of the bullpen uh, up onto the mountain. That's the song that he would have. I'm sure it is. Dun, 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 I, don't, dun, 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 I don't think they really did bullpen music back then. <laughs> no, they didn't. <laughs> the, everything was organ, I believe. I believe, yeah, I think that's right. I was just getting ready to say something really interesting that I did in the last two weeks. Oh, and oh, you like guys that. just hijacked I mean, we me. did hijack the fuck out of it. Now I don't want to tell. But tell us more about the Schmedler guy. No, okay, I'm fine. done. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No, what? I really don't want to JP. talk about it no, anymore. No, come on. Did you did you eat any place nice? Nope. Okay, just ramen noodles like normal. Your mom's house. Oh uh, well, she's a good cook. She's a very good cook. Yeah, she is. Oh, you're not talking about the the podcast. Your mom's house. No, no. no. If you went there to eat, that's something. that would be fucking cool. <laughs> yeah. But no, I don't even know how good a cook they are. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, but I'm that's guessing it, man. Tom you know does what? the cooking. No, uh, we got all this time in the world. I know. You go We're, ahead, Jeremy. What uh, have you been up to? I, well, I want. Well, I'd like uh, yeah. to talk to hear what Scotty did because I didn't do a fucking thing. Okay. Um, I want to hear what Scotty did since we're talking hijacking and he's going to fly. <laughs> yeah. I'd wow. Like yeah. Talk about things I want to have happen. I am so dreading this this trip. For those of you guys who don't know, there's a reason why we did a Monday Friday. Uh, it's because I fly out to Florida. On Wednesday morning when this uh, episode will air. So when you are listening to this, I may have died in a plane crash. Who's going to be here to protect the backyard? <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> you, JP. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm going to relinquish all of my firearms. Uh, Don't let good. anybody in my backyard. Yeah. Uh, 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 okay, yeah. so I don't know. Since you're going to Florida, yeah. oddly enough, very coincidentally, the birthplace of Munting. is in Florida. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it sure is. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm dreading this, uh, this trip. I hate to fly. Uh, I don't yeah, like the, too. I don't like swimming in the ocean. So no, especially so don't, I don't, I'm not gonna, I'm not getting in the fucking water. Well, you may not have a choice. They have sharks now that are eating uh, cocaine bags that were dropped and they're getting, shark. they're get, yeah, cocaine shark. They're getting mm-hmm. extremely aggressive. So I'm just not going to get in there. You I'm guessing not. the environmentalists are all pissed off that they threw it in plastic bags. Yeah, probably. Right. <laughs> they're out cutting them open. They don't give a shit about the, the Charged. Back in there, they, the, the drugs. No, all they give a shit about is yeah. just the fucking plastic. Some turtle's gonna fucking choke on it somewhere. My my favorite thing I think I've heard in what a, a way long to time go. is everybody mm-hmm. that was freaking the fuck out about the plastic straws. Yeah, they yeah. put paper straws in plastic bags and sold to you. Oh yeah, <laughs> my my wife gets oh, the redundancy gets uh, Starbucks almost every day, and she gets a Trenta iced coffee. And you have to ask for a straw because if you don't, they won't give you one because they have a lid that you can drink right out of. Uh-huh. And they're like, yeah, we're trying to cut down on plastic use. Meanwhile, the entire cup and lid is plastic. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid fucks. But as far oh. as I know, there was one sea turtle. Yeah. That was found with a straw in its nose. Yep. And because of that, everybody just And he was out. just doing cocaine. He's That's all he out. was doing. And, yeah. and his buddy came up behind him and smacked him in the back of the head. That's right. Spin. That's right. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. yeah. Sea turtles are pranksters. They are. are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Scallywags. Yeah, man. We're uh, hey, Anyways, that's a Finding Nemo reference. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm dreading this, this flight. One. Yeah, shut up. I'll oh, give me this. 
Um, I'm dreading this fucking flight. I don't want to do it. Uh, and there's two. I found out that there are two flights. Uh, Wichita does not have a direct flight to Orlando. No, absolutely not. They don't. God damn you gotta it. You got to go to Atlanta, I'm yeah, assuming. Yeah, fly into Atlanta, and then we fly like 45 minutes to Orlando. So that's like... Atlanta's well, really nice. I, I, are you going <laughs> Delta? <laughs> I don't even know what we're flying, to be that honest with you. That airport is a shit I hope, <laughs> well, I I hope an wait. airplane, but... I would take a hang glider. I would like to see you on a hang glider <laughs> to Atlanta at least. Oh, for the sure. First leg of that flight. Absolutely. Uh, but uh, so, yeah, now I, I saw the the itinerary for all of the shit that we're going to do. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff that I, that I really want to do. We're going to go golfing down there. I mentioned that last week's episode. Of course he is. Yeah. And, uh, but is Bob going with you? Uh, no, he's not. Um, <laughs> He'd make the trip down there just Fred, to golf. Fred's yeah. going and he's golfing. Uh, but no, I... Uh, I found out also the place that we're staying is 45 minutes away from the airport. And I was like, oh, shit, we're going to probably have to rent a car. And my wife goes, no, we're just going to take an Uber. Uh -huh. I said, an Uber 45 minutes? God damn, that's 45 minutes being in a stranger's car. I don't like that. And she goes, oh, yeah. And we also have to go 30 minutes out of the way and pick up cookies. So you mean to tell me we're going to be in a car with a perfect stranger having him run our fucking errands? You, you want that. What? You want that. Why? That because you don't know that town. I don't care. Uh, you uh, don't want yes. a car. You, you do not want the response. Trust me. Uh, every time that I have gone to Orlando, Florida, I have rented a car. Or not rented a car. And I have been all the better off for it. The only time that we've ever rented a car was out in California. And it was son of, it was a huge son of a bitch. Really? Because we went from Southern California <sighs> to Central California. And that would not be make sense to Get Uber. an Uber. Yeah. Um, so we did rent a car. And trying to drive in the worst traffic in the world in a town that I'm not familiar with. No idea where I'm going now. Nah, fuck that. Uh, Leave that up to somebody else. GPS, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. More, I'm more thinking about why did you make this situation that we have to drive 30 minutes out of the way when I am already... I mean, thank God my brother gave me some Xanax because that's what that's what's going to calm me down on the flight. These better be some good fucking cookies. Uh -huh. <laughs> A word of advice, Scotty? Uh, yeah. There is no such thing as too much Xanax. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's got no pulse. <laughs> Take it till you're full. You won't even <laughs> you, know you were on the trip till a couple days later. I till sure you, won't. Till you got to unbuckle your, your belt. That's yeah. what I'd like to see. Okay. Uh, but no, I just... I By the just, way, kids at home, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Yeah. Uh, but no, he dropped off some Xanax to calm me the fuck down, so there's, well, there's that. Way to announce that on air, because that can't be legal. Ah, it's probably... I mean, you know, it's okay. <laughs> Uh, I don't know that it is. <laughs> yeah, thank God actually. Thank God, none of the 12 people that are listening are police yeah. officers. <laughs> well, I mean, they understand. Uh, but the, uh, the thing that uh, really pissed me off the most over this last week was... Uh, I go to work after uh, uh, the Tuesday recording that we did, and uh -huh. uh, the episode is uploaded, and I, I do a lot of my artwork and stuff like that on my work computer, and that decided that I need to change my fucking password. I don't remember my old password. Very well. Yeah. That's going to be hard to do. Uh, it took me an hour. Yeah. Yeah, it really did. It, I was fucking pissed. I don't understand why. I mean, just to get into the computer, all of the stuff that is important stuff requires face recognition and passwords out the ass. But just to get on my computer, I really want to just get into the motherfucker. Uh, but no, they make you, you don't change have your to passwords. put in your password every day? Mm -mm. Oh, no, I don't. Not to get mm -hmm. on my computer. It saves it. Um, but it doesn't matter. It's, well, that's it's, a shit password then, isn't it? That is, yeah, it is. But it is something that mildly inconveniences me, and that's that's like really, leaving the key in the front door of your house. Just let them in. That way, there's no broken windows, Jeremy. Yeah, and there's that broken windows theory. Yeah, so yeah, that's how you, <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> but anyways, theory. but yeah, that was that was my week. Uh, dreading the flight. Hopefully, I survive, and hopefully, I have a great time. Uh, we get to go to Disney, and I'm not really pumped about that either. So, yeah. How about you, Jeremy? What did you do over the last three days? Oh. N nothing really. No. Uh, I, I was profoundly disappointed. I have already beaten Assassin's Creed Mirage. Really? Yeah, as far as the main storyline of Yuck. it goes, there's side missions to go. And it was just, I, I haven't even had it a month. Yeah. In fact, what, three weeks? Uh -huh. I played Valhalla for months. I'm still months, playing it. And I don't know that I ever actually beat the main thing. And... It's just the whole storyline to this is so vague and uninteresting, and I do not recommend that game to anybody unless you just 
enjoy playing the Assassin's Creed yeah. shit, but wait till it goes. It's like well used and goes on sale and shit. Yep. Before you buy it, because it is not worth the price of a brand new game. I heard that the two best uh, Assassin's Creed or Assassin's Creed games in a really long time was this last one, Valhalla, and then uh, Black. <coughs> excuse Wait. me, uh, Black Flag, and that was the pirate one. Black Sails, I think. Black is it, Flag. Is it Black Flag? Yes, it's Black okay. Flag. Well, either way, I I played that one, and I never could get into <laughs> it. I called the guy Black Flag one time and <laughs> got in really big trouble, so well, be careful. Uh, flag it. Is yeah, why, why did, flag it. Flag why it. did you uh, put the uh, L in there? That's weird. <laughs> uh, speaking of, um, yeah. I, this was a couple of weeks ago. I should have added this, but... Um, I was watching a uh, a show on the American Heroes channel about the history of fighter planes. Oh, and that seems um, like, yeah, it, great. It's something that would be on there. Very and interesting. I am was a little surprised, Scotty, that given that you didn't live a whole lot during the Cold War, that the Soviets named a an aircraft after you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the soviet mig 15 go ahead and say it jp faggot <laughs> they said fago <laughs> oh well but i've seen faggot and that's faggot <laughs> no there's only one g in it oh. but okay why would that uh, fago is is french oh and For faggot. um <laughs> but no, the, the soviet mig 15 fago but the fact that they put faggot in great big letters <laughs> way bigger than everything else just to highlight it i guess but they never once like made any jokes about it or anything because oh. they just presented it like a serious thing and it's like you only put that on that <laughs> we're list. not to be joked There's, about sir. it was it was like the top 10 fighter planes of all time and i've never heard of that one and i've worked in the aerospace industry for 26 years now and uh there's no way that they didn't do that just to put that out there. One hundred percent. Everyone was like, "No, we got to. We have to." <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Uh, so anyway. other than that, um, That's an interesting oh, word. <laughs> my uh, my problems with uh, the Wi-Fi with the uh, new TV stand. Yeah. Didn't fix nothing. Oh. Uh, turns out just don't have strong enough Wi-Fi signal in the house. So I spent a lot of time and money on wood and stuff to uh, build a TV stand that didn't solve any fucking problems. <laughs> <laughs> I love so, it when you waste your time. Thank you, Cox Cable, for your <laughs> shitty fucking... I mean, I kind of, it's something that I had wanted to do anyway, but I probably would not have done in December. Uh-huh. Uh, just because it's really fucking cold and... You got to heat the fucking garage, and that wastes a lot of money and time. And uh-huh. uh huh. How is it even possible in huh. this day and age that we don't have the fucking best internet? Fucking, it should be instantaneous. Oh, at I this agree. Point. I agree. What are we do? They're just well, fucking here, sucking the money out of Elon's us. Elon's working I, on it right now. Oh, it's already done. Well, dude. I know, but he, but he's like, give people, it to us. People, already. people are taking like computers out into the wilderness now, and it's faster than shit. Yeah. So well, yeah, it it's should there. be. It's there. I mean, right, but it's got to get the Wi-Fi signal from my wireless router, and my house is just so fucking big. It's guys. huge. It's, it's enormous. It's huge. It's it's, huge. it's in the basement. It's That's huge. the thing. It's got to be in the office for my wife's shit because she has office computer stuff that actually right. has to plug directly into it. Mm -hmm. So. That's why it has to be down there, and mm -hmm. that can't be in the upstairs living room. Okay. So, fuck you. <laughs> that, that's, that was my point to this. Okay. Fuck you, Scotty. Fair Come enough. On. Fair enough. Uh, anything else that you've done in the last three days that you want to talk about? Um, nope. I'll tell you what I want to talk about. Oh, okay. I want to talk about those, those playoff games, man. I want to talk about the Chiefs and the Miami Dolphins. What a joke. <laughs> Colder than shit. Okay, we know it hasn't happened yet, so don't don't ruin the surprise. But <laughs> we can't. Yeah, we can't. We can't. How are we going to ruin the surprise? I don't know. Somebody from the future is going to call me here in a second. But it was what thirty? No, no, no. It was like three degrees at kickoff, with up to gusts up to thirty miles an hour or twenty nine miles an hour. It's like ten or twelve below. What the it's fuck? On the it's field. not going to surprise me if they don't postpone it to Monday. We've already found out that the. Uh, 
Pittsburgh Buffalo game has been postponed due to weather. That's just because they did. They just didn't have enough people oh. to shovel the snow. They postponed that game into the time slot that was supposed to air the bowling tournament finals. By the way, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they, they knew what was going on. What the fuck? They were like, "Fuck you, bowler." I'm yeah. sure it's not on the same channel. Is it, it is on Fox. Is it? Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. Schmindler. Well, um, yeah, yeah, bowling's not cool enough to be no, on Fox unless it's Schmin- Schmindler. It's Fox, whoever. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I, I was. I was Anybody discriminating can get a against deal with Fox. Fox. Sure, they can. I don't understand. What does the Fox say? Me, 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 me. I think that's what it is. <laughs> Boy, that guy can kiss my ass. <laughs> that guy, that fucking Fox guy. I, I don't understand people that wanted to go to the. There are people from Miami that drove up to go to that. Crazy. Place. Well, it's been you a while since psychos. they've gotten to see him that's, possibly win a playoff game. And they probably did. They um, probably want it, but I my whole thing did. is is you that hoped, I think we all hope they did. Uh huh. I, I realize that you know these are tough guys who play football, and it's a lot of it centers around being strong and tough, mm-hmm. and they they try to make it look like they're tough by playing with no sleeves, even though they slather their arms in fucking Vaseline. So oh yeah. God damn! The heat stop! In. Stop! <laughs> stop it! <laughs> Holy oh, shit, JP. Gave me the shivers there for a minute. Okay, go ahead. Even though it's the Chiefs, huh? I don't even wow. care. I mean, just Travis Kelsey. Just, oh, he hears Vaseline and he's like, Boom. JP's going to take Travis Kelsey away between from, that and the fighter plane from Taylor Swift. I guarantee my pussy's tighter. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Um, <laughs> but anyway, what I was saying but, is when the weather gets so severe, because ultimately what you need to do is. Figure out who's the better football team on that day. Mm-hmm. And when the weather gets so fucking severe that they can't really even play football. Yeah. And it just becomes a ma- uh, a game of let's see who can move the fastest without slipping and falling on their ass. Uh-huh. Like you need to postpone the fucking game. Those are my favorite games. Yeah. Those are my favorite games to watch. The the like Tundra Bowl and and when snow is like six inches and people are just running the ball and they can't do anything. It's fucking great. Well, it's the lowest scoring game you've ever seen. Right. It's fucking and awesome. That's because you don't you like boring shit. Oh you no. You like stuff that, that is not fun. Oh no. I, just I see. have proof with this fucking snowboard <laughs> yeah, well. hanging up over here. Yeah. Uh, but but I will say this. Fuck Peacock. Fuck you guys for making it. But all, here's the thing, it's man. It's the playoffs. It's not Peacock. Who is it? It's, it's NBC. The, it's it, it I know, but it's they're do everybody's doing it. Paramount. Fucking everybody, but, I mean, any, but everybody. You, but you it's can, not the playoffs, but, but, but you can it will watch be. it. You should be able to watch a playoff game. You can. If you buy it. There you go. Fuck you. I'm well, not doing that. I that's already the paid, way that it's going to go. I already pay so way too much So if you want to keep watching cable. football, that's how you're going to have to do it in the future no. very soon. I've heard the rumors. End. I've heard rumors that the Super Bowl is going to be exclusively on Peacock. Go fuck yourself. Fuck you. It's, you should be wanting to have the highest viewership ever. Why? When uh, Peacock's on, paying them, then you charge your rich fucking same advertising company. amount of it's money. It's the same fucking company. Yeah, but do you know how much more they're paying them to make it exclusive I don't, on their I don't, apps? Here's oh, what they're they're uh, counting uh, on extra subscribers yeah. to sign up for it and then forget that they signed up for it, so they stay signed up for it. That's what they want. Fuck them. Because there's nothing good on there that you can't get on just any regular fucking NBC channel. I love that it's the Chiefs that they're... <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's the Chiefs and the Dolphins, a game yeah. that everybody wants to watch. Of course. And and I think that's bullshit. I already it, have Peacock. Well, good for you, so, you fucking piece of shit. Yeah. At least, like, now we can watch the, the Browns and the, and the Texans playing right now, and we don't have any problems. Make that game the fucking Peacock game, for the love of God. <laughs> like, like we don't give two fucks who wins this game. I mean, like, go, I care. go Joe Flacco. You no, know what I'm fuck saying? Joe Flacco. Fucking go Joe Flacco. Fucking really? Oh, I, I like C.J. Stroud. I love C.J. Stroud, too. He's a bad motherfucker. He is. He is. But I'm, sure I'm pulling for the 39-year-old man. I want him to go far. Of course you are. Yeah. I pulled a 39 Nine-year-old man once. I want him to win where Deshaun Watson couldn't. I do That's too. What I really would. Yeah. Like That's to see. great, and yeah. I think that would be so fucking awesome. So I'm, I'm, uh, good job, Browns and Baker Mayfield. Wait I want to see him win. Where he I want to see him win. I want to see him beat the Eagles. I think that would be great. Just There's fuck no the playoffs. Fuck. I don't know. Up. The fucking Eagles are on a downhill slide. They suck. They've lost. They've lost five of their last I get six. It. I get it, but it's playoff time. Oh my fucking, god! I think they'll. I think they'll be all right. I, uh, I just. I'm very excited. So, again, I hope you guys enjoyed the playoffs. It's a lot of fun. And go all the people that we just said. Go Baker Mayfield and go uh, go Joe Flacco. 
Yeah. No, I was more saying that I want to see him win where Baker Mayfield couldn't. Oh. That's what I was saying. Oh, so, I got Baker you. So almost anywhere. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, because... My we're... microphone smells like shit again. <laughs> well, Derek wiped his ass. With yeah, I did. could tell. Uh-huh. Uh, but because uh, we are recording this on a Saturday, we don't know what happened. So I uh, I got some fun stuff that I fi- I wanted to talk about. The first thing I wanted to talk about was the video that's going around on social media of the aliens at the Miami Mall. Did you see that shit? No. no. Oh, fuck. But I love those I, things. I'm I assuming do too. you mean Cubans? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was going to say. Aliens in Miami. No kidding. Yeah. So there was this guy that made a video from a rooftop, like, uh, and they and they said that a whole a, a whole bunch of uh, police cars. You saw like fifty fucking police cars down this fucking street at the mall in Miami. And this guy made a TikTok video and and made the claim that there were these ten foot tall aliens that were like blurry and shit like that. I'm like, that's why we can't find Sasquatch. Oh, I've but, seen. And he, the, they got the weird rubbery faces, uh, wear yeah. trench coats and shit. Yeah, fuck that. Well, uh, it turns out that that guy uh, made that video, goes mega viral. Everybody like takes the video that of the actual footage of all of these cop cars and shit like that. And they all they said was that the reason why all these cops were here was a couple of kids were fighting. 50 cop cars for a couple of kids fighting. That's what they claimed. And so it looks kind of suspicious. This guy makes a video saying these 10 t- foot tall aliens or whatever. And then uh, the guy comes out like a week later and was just like, yeah, that's not what happened. I was just kidding. I, it, it ends up being like what you're seeing is like a shadowy figure. No, it's an actual person. And it's a it's a regular size person. <laughs> and that's what everybody's fucking freaking out about. Yeah. Um, I want to suggest a, a YouTube channel to everybody. Uh, called the Corridor Crew. Uh huh. They're some of my new favorite guys. You know all those those videos of like, you know, five photos or five videos that scientists can't explain. explain. Yeah. yeah. Um, they explained them. That's because you don't go to scientists. What you do is you go to guys who are very skilled in uh, video effects, mm-hmm. video special effects, because that's what these guys do, and and they've worked on some of the biggest Hollywood movies and shit. Oh, yeah. And they take all that paranormal shit, uh-huh. all those fucking alien videos, and they debunk them. And one of my favorite things that they've done is they've taken all the moon landing footage and been like, yeah, you cannot make this <laughs> on, <laughs> in a studio. You could not. What about you, nine, What about 9-11? Oh, yeah, that was an inside job, for oh, sure. For sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. yeah, they're huge conspiracy theorists, but they debunk all this <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> that's great. These guys, I think, might have been involved in 9-11, so oh. they don't talk about uh, it. Yeah. Ooh, I think they were they were one of the one of the guys on the planes. Okay. Uh, well, the next thing I wanted to talk about was uh, there was an exploding toilet at a Dunkin' Donuts. Did you hear about that? Uh, nope. There, it was in Florida, naturally. Right? That's where the weird I shit can't happens. Wait to go. I'm going to be fucked. Uh, but yeah, apparently in Florida, the customer left filthy and injured, and a lawsuit is going to ensue. But apparently, he was taking a shit, and the toilet exploded, thus spraying him all of the shit back up his ass and uh, causing injuries. Up and his I, ass. I mean, so, what's the downside here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, how scared would you be if that If happened? my toilet blew up? <laughs> pretty scared. I feel like uh I feel like fear would be one of my reactions. <laughs> Definitely. Surprise. Uh, I wouldn't have to shit anymore. <laughs> I mean you could you definitely finish <laughs> real quick like <laughs> did they say what caused it i did not see what caused it these were just the headlines because if you know how a toilet works that shouldn't happen yeah that's not a pressurized line coming back through there uh-huh um but weirder shit has happened now <laughs> fun fact the the dunkin donuts in florida are the only places where you can get the Bismarcks with the Munt cream in them. Ah, that might, maybe the Munt cream Munt built up cream, in there. Maybe. And uh, some of that methane. Yeah, probably. that's, that's Just, right. Somebody lit a that, match. They had that Munt cream yeah. fucking traps what, that was methane. Was he smoking on the toilet? He could have been. He could Sounds have Sounds like been. he was smoking on the toilet. Everybody knows, don't smoke on don't the smoke toilet. No, the toilet. No. It's so hey. bad. Uh, but yeah, that, so that happened. I figured you guys would enjoy that. Yeah, I'd be scared. I I'd, didn't. I'd be scared. I didn't enjoy that. I'd at be all. scared shitless. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you did it. That joke right there. He no, landed just, it. It came up in my uh, head yeah. twice uh, in three fucking days. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for this, we'll Sorry. never see him again. Never. Uh, I'm gonna die in a couple of days. Let me live my best life. 
Uh, <laughs> fuck you. Uh, but anyways, next one. Uh, the uh, the FHA is now cracking down on funny sign messages on highways. The FHA? Yeah, that's what it says. The Future Homemakers of America? That guy? No, it's the uh, Federal Highways of America. Oh, but, but that's, I thought maybe it was Future Homemakers of America. I mean, they were it could. Pissed. They were fucking pissed. They were pissed. fucking pissed. They took off their aprons and they threw them down into the kitchen. Yeah. And then they marched out there. Yeah, and they just said, no more funny signs. And then like, he went back home and started making pies. Uh, yeah, exactly. But I don't. I, I mean, we live in a in a pretty decent sized city, and we have those signs that come up. And they they're never really all that funny. But apparently, the FHA says in two years you can no longer have funny signs. Fuck well, you. What if it's true and funny? I mean, like, yes. Like, what if there's an accident up ahead between, like, you know, a, a chicken truck and a circus train? <laughs> A chicken truck and a circus train. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, <laughs> that's fucking funny. Yeah. That's funny. That's, and, it's got to be. And factual. Yeah. It, it is going to be a road hazard. What would the sign say, though? Chicken truck and circus train. <laughs> chicken chicken, chicken truck, circus train collision. Be, beware. Be yeah. aware. Two drive, miles drive ahead. slowly, yeah. Watch for chickens. Lions, yeah. tigers, and chickens. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> no shit. I just think that's no fun. Like, they have uh, signs that say, like, mashed potatoes, not your car. And then they have, like, the don't drink and drive ones or something like that that actually are funny. It's like, come on, man. Especially it's, with cities that have, like, a lot of traffic and people are stuck in them. Give them something to do. It's so nice to know that my federal tax dollars are going, yeah. to, are going to fund guys who are cracking down, getting tough on crime, making this a better country. Because Lord knows you don't need something entertaining for your fucking boring ass commute. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Thank God for these guys. They're saving lives. I, uh, I also wanted to bring this up, especially because I don't know. JP, are you a Star Wars fan? I can't remember. I do not you do not like, like star, star wars. wars me and jeremy joseph are huge star wars of course fans. you are yeah. not, <laughs> not anymore yeah i'm a huge star wars critic uh, yeah it's true <laughs> okay so never mind we're huge star wars critics okay uh but i think that they may have just made the biggest m mistake of uh of the star wars i don't know films that are getting ready to come out they have a new uh director uh charmine obeyed chinoy or shinoy uh, she says that she likes to make men uncomfortable and is a huge feminist. And so they are going to specifically have uh, more female roles for the force. Uh, she claims that the force is female and all of this other shit. And they're going to make apparently three new movies uh, with a, uh, with a predominantly feminist cast is what the rumors are. At least this is what I read. Um, and uh, every single huge star Wars fan, is fucking irate and they should be uh, little should girls be? need heroes Just, too. i think they should don't fucking go that's yeah. that's, that's, that's how you really fuck up. yeah all it is i mean do, do people like this annoy the shit out of me yes they do but i think people have kind of shown with these last uh disney movies disney mu movies that when you intentionally try to show this shit yep People won't go. Their numbers have been record lows. They have lost so much money, which should just let you know how much money Disney actually has. Oh, yeah. yeah they yeah. can never lose. I know they're, that yeah. they can just lose hundreds of millions of dollars yeah. and yeah. not even blink. Yeah. And and continue to do this shit. Um, I'm you sure. know, just just stop going. You can... I I put those, those three sequels out of my fucking mind. They I don't too. exist as... As far as I'm concerned, I do too. They I, have done some cool stuff on the Disney Plus, a couple of cool things, but yeah. they've also done some real shit. You know, in this, w one of the things about this being a fantasy sci fi thing is that people watch this shit to get away from the horrible things that happen in real life. I wanted my my bad guys to be bad because they were just evil. Mm -hmm. That's was the whole plot of the first six movies. Mm -hmm. Now, no, it's war profiteering and, you know, rich people are horrible and the fucking top 1% are cruel to animals and just, you know, it's, uh, you know, fucking robots and their goddamn non-binary shit <laughs> and just whatever. <laughs> I, I go to the movies to get away from that kind of shit. Same. There That's are plenty of movies that highlight stuff like that Yeah, where I go into it knowing that. I'm not going to go see these. I'm not either. I didn't go see... Uh, what is it? 
Right. What is it? I don't know. Rise of Skywalker. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't right. go see that in the movies. I'm not going to see these. Okay. No. And I and I agree. Um, and God, it, it's. Oh, I mean, The Force Awakens I thought was good. <clears throat> Uh, and then had the potential had to the potential yeah. had the potential to be good, and then they fucked it up. They fucked it up. Yeah, and now they're going to fuck it up even more uh, because they know that they're going to do this. And and I think that this is eventually what happens. I think John Favreau ends up taking over it and and saving it. Uh, but the like, I think the last three main movies of the series and a lot of the other stuff. Uh, becomes non-canon. I think that's what ends up happening. Somebody takes over this motherfucker and fixes it uh, because they are going to lose shitloads and shitloads of money making these movies if they if they, they intend to do it like this. They've been saying that for a decade now. Yeah. But, yeah. no, it, it... Okay, here's the thing, is that most Star Wars fans, like your big-time fanatics... Mm-hmm. Are are dudes right? Yeah, that's that's where and, I was going. And next. this whole thing is she wants to highlight gender Nerdy equality against dudes. women. Hey, these yeah. dudes aren't your fucking problem mm-hmm. of of gender inequality, whatever it is that you think that is. Those in the dudes haven't been with a woman ever. <laughs> Most of so. them are are not. They would give anything just for a girl to talk to them, right? But they can't because they won't get out of their parents' basement. Yeah, there you go. So. Wrong audience. High, making them uncomfortable in a world where they're probably already pretty uncomfortable <laughs> anyway, you're just being a bitch. Yeah. Uh, but moving on to the next thing I did want to talk about before we get on to the, the fun stuff was uh, Nick Saban ended up retiring. We did not talk about that last week. That ended up coming in a little bit late. So Nick Saban is retiring from Alabama football. Do you think Do you think that Alabama takes a nosedive in the SEC? Do you think they start sucking? They were kind of already headed down that path, and it's really tough to predict with the whole NIL shit yep. and transfer portal. So I don't know. They are still Alabama. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know their their reputation and history got them through some pretty shit years. Yeah, like most of the time I was in high school, Alabama wasn't shit. Yeah, um, but they'll be fine. They are still a top premium Oklahoma. Yeah. They went downhill in the mid to late 80s because they got hit with all kinds of sanctions for recruiting violations and shit. Yep. They bounced back. I mean, your big-time programs like this, just for the prestige of going there, they're still going to get top-tier recruits and stuff. Yes, sir. Uh, well, that is headlines for this week. Now we get to move on to the fun. Yeah, the fun, right? <laughs> Oh, have we not started the fun I yet? thought we were already having I mean, fun. Dude, we already I was, are. I was having a blast. This is like being on a fucking roller coaster. I know. All the emotions. I know. But thank you for everybody who participated or participated in Monday Friday. Thank you guys so very much. That was uh, that was awesome to to see that, that I put something out there and everybody uh, commented I didn't know a lot. You had done anything? I did. Uh, so we had a lot of folks that uh, sent in suggestions, uh, and we are going to kick this bad boy off with "Never Have I Ever." And uh, the first one this week is from Tyler Plackey. He wants to know, never have I ever cheated on someone who cheated on me just to make a point. Well, oh, yeah? Yes, I did. So I sure did. They cheated on you. <clears throat> she cheated on me. So then you cheated on her. I cheated on That'll her. That'll show her. That'll shut him up. Uh, I was also, a f- I was in fucking high school, so, yeah. you know. But that's why you did it. That is 100% why. I did you wouldn't it. have done it otherwise. No, I'm very loyal. See, I'm, I'm very loyal. I'm a, I'm, I am now, but <coughs> back then, I was exactly the opposite. I was the cheater. Uh-huh. I mean. I'm not shocked. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. But so, as I get older and the options. Dwindle down. Dwindle down. <laughs> uh, I find myself wanting to be a one man's man. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. I don't know. Good for good. you. Uh, well, sad is what it it's is. Just kinda Fucking sad. very sad. It's all right, buddy. It's okay. Once you hit 50, uh, you'll find the right one. No, because <laughs> do 50 year old gays have to have money. I don't have any money. <laughs> I better fucking figure that out. There you go. Once but, I figure that out. Yes. 100 yeah. percent pool boys for everyone somebody gets divorced off of a straight marriage for yeah, ever whatever, and then they right. get all kinds of money and then that's the guy you target all right here yep, we go there you go I'm in. how about you jeremy uh, no um i have very strong feelings with regards to cheating uh i despise cheating mm-hmm. um in fact my ideas of cheating are probably pretty extreme for a lot of people uh so i won't get too much into that but if you know anything about me my whole, I honor my commitments. 
Yeah. If somebody cheats on me and I find out about it, I'm either going to end the relationship or we're going to try and work through it. And if we're trying to work through it, then the commitment is back in place. Uh, most likely, I'm just going to drop their asses. Yep. But no, as somebody who's been in a very serious relationship and was cheated on, uh, I can tell you it is fucked up thing to do to somebody. Uh-huh. Uh, it makes it very difficult for them to ever trust anybody again. Yeah. And uh, I can tell you that my wife has paid the fucking price for that. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. It took me a long time to get to the point where I fully trusted her. Oh, wow. And so, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh, next one. And, and now oh. I don't know why I beat her. Uh, <laughs> and now I just beat her because it's fun. <laughs> yeah. Exercise. <laughs> you know, you start doing something. And uh-huh. you don't it's a habit. Quit. It's yeah. a real it becomes habit. a habit. You want to be mean, Jack. <laughs> <That's right>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, next one. Uh, this comes in from Keith Allen Prather, serial killer. Yep. Uh, he wants to know, never have I ever had to have help or support while peeing when I was drunk. I've never been that. I, now, I've pissed my pants, but I didn't need any help. Yeah? Okay. I have never. Yeah. Wow. That's a thing? Um, I yeah. think I found my new career. You should. Yeah. That's, I'm a, that's what bathroom attendants guy. are for. Yeah. yeah. When they put them in bars and clubs and stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what they're for. That's what they're for. Okay. I, I give them an extra dollar if they do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, have, I have never had support or help yeah probably needed it needed it yeah and we're gonna get on to that for the next one but uh how about you jeremy have you ever needed some help no typically if i could get to where i was going to pee then i could stand to pee um if not the nice thing about toilets is they got a seat (laughs) and uh just just uh take a load off (laughs) yeah right there in the urine Uh uh-huh yeah just have a seat. whatever yeah i mean (laughs) just have a seat well i was talking more toilets (laughs) i know but no, I don't believe that I've ever actually needed help. Uh, I'll either pass out, yeah, or I can I can get around just fine. I have I'm, I'm strong, guys. I got good balance. I have an issue walking forward. I have I walk side to side and can't move forward, and I need help moving forward sometimes. That's you are it. like a full quarter crab, right? I am. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'd heard. I heard. Sure am. Uh, because that leads us on to the next one. This one comes in from Dalton Waltz. He wants to know, never have I ever been so drunk. I pissed all over myself. All over yourself? Or were you just not drunk? <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> what if, it has to be what myself? What if I'm not the one pissing all over oh, myself? Oh, thank you. That's, that's what I want to know. Okay. What if I was... Not drunk, but they were, and they were pissing on me. Does that count? Cause I, I mean, yeah. Then yes. Oh, God. I mean, more than once. I, I have been so drunk that I was doing my crab walk trying and to pee, fucking and I pissed, pissed everywhere. I, my wife was so fucking pissed. It's weird that you have to be drunk to do I do it all the time. <laughs> I, I, it was at the old house. I had a whole yeah. bunch of friends over, and we got shit-faced. And I had to go upstairs and go pee, and apparently I pissed all over the bathroom, and then laid down and fell asleep well, there in you my go. piss. So there, there you, you go. go. That's, that's so you happens. didn't piss all over yourself. You pissed all over the floor, floor and, and then, then put yourself all over it. the floor. Right. Yeah. Uh, but I don't remember any of it. How about you, Jeremy? <laughs> um, I okay. Same I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I I have never been conscious and gotten so drunk that I pissed all over myself. However, I have woken up the next morning and somebody has pissed the bed. (laughs) Been there. I wasn't awake to see who it was. Yeah. Wow. So I can't say definitively. I think there's a pretty good chance it was probably me. (laughs) Wow. But I've got some asshole neighbors too. I got That's I got that drunk and I passed out and fucking I pit and it was a, it was we were really actually decent friends yeah and uh, we ended up sleeping together one night and I pissed the bed and I don't know why I don't know I just got up and I fucking left I didn't say <laughs> a word dude 
And he never said anything either. So I'm like, well, hopefully he thinks he, he did, did it. it yeah. And maybe he did. <laughs> I don't know. I still don't know to this day. To him since. I haven't talked to him since. Wow. Well, uh, yeah, that is that happened to me. I, I did get so drunk that I uh, went outside to go pee at a house party. And I peed in a bunch of rose bushes. Yeah. And I passed out while I was oh, peeing. Uh, they're thorny. They are yeah. thorny. Right in the old I, uh-huh. scrotum. I had. Uh, I I'd had, like to hear stories about Scotty getting hurt. Uh, yeah, I uh, especially like that. Mm-hmm. At the time, I had the Super Mario's ringtone on my phone, <laughs> and they couldn't find me for like an hour. They were looking all throughout the house, and finally, they just kept on calling my phone. And somebody was walking around outside, and they heard do 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 Mario. <laughs> there he is. He's it's uh, me, Mario. He's got his pants around his ankles. Yes. So <laughs> yeah. that gives a whole new meaning to that Bon Jovi song. <laughs> Bed of roses, <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? Okay, so lying in your own piss. <laughs> that's right. Super uh, Mario Brothers. I think that's the song. Ooh. He should have sampled that for that song. I Super am Mario. Brothers. I am extremely excited about this one because I've had my, I've had my questions. So you must be honest. This comes in from Marcos. I believe it is it is it Charez? Is that how you pronounce that? That's uh, Charez. We're gonna call him Charez. Uh, Marcos wants to know, uh, never have I ever cheated in a card game. I I, have never cheated, but I've been cheated. Oh, really? I have Mm. never. I will, if I see your card, I will tell you I saw your card. I I am 100%. I've never cheated in a card game. I have been cheated. You have? Absolutely. Like uh, like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Really? Yes. Were they bottom dealing or something? Uh, they were. Wow. Um, the, it, was, it was not exactly that, but um, while he was shuffling, there was a chick that had the same cards sitting next to him that would put the cards however sh- they wanted them. And then he would just switch the decks out. Oh, wow. Oh, so wow. he wasn't even working the deck. No, 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 no. Yeah, right. No. But that's how they were doing it. And, you know, it was a friend's game. I really? Mean, th- these were friends. Like, they, so they, it wasn't like I was. take a $10 pot. Oh, wow. I don't know about ten dollar pot. They, they were they were not like cheap. Oh, it games. wasn't like buddies playing quarter we were, nickel. We were buddies, but we were playing. We were playing three five. Okay. Wow. But. These were friends. These are people that I played poker with for years. Wow. I would never have thought. Wow. And uh, yeah, sure enough, man. I have definitely yeah. cheated playing Goldfish, but other than that, <laughs> never never uh, cheated in, a, in an actual card game. How about you there, Jeremy? Absolutely not. Uh, one, I find it morally despicable. Two, I have short little sausage fingers, <laughs> that, and I've had two surgeries on my left hand. I couldn't. Mechanic of deck. If I ha- I can barely shuffle, let alone stack a deck. There, wow. I I suck at shuffling. I suck at dealing cards. I I suck at handling cards. Um, so yeah, you would think as an actual aircraft mechanic that I would have a lot of finger dexterity. I do not. Most of what I do has a lot more blunt force behind it. And uh, so, yeah, I don't have any I like real that. finger dexterity. Yeah, I pound on <laughs> oh, that shit. Oh, I like blood I get force. on that skin mm. and I just pound. Oh, you don't need your God. fingers there. Drilling then. holes. Oh, wow. Okay. High RPMs. High RPMs. High RPMs. Um, la- uh, but yeah. uh, no, when last time I was in Kansas City, I went to the Hollywood Casino, and they still have a poker room there. And I sat down at a game. It was uh, 1-3, no limit. And uh, there was this dude that was, he, uh, I think he had pocket kings, and there was an ace out on the board. And uh, a guy went all in, and he asked for a chip count, and the guy's, like, counting his chips, and he counted up 295. He goes, okay, 295, and the guy just immediately goes, call. Well, he still, he also had another $100 chip, and the guy who called lost the hand. And he's like, well, if I'd have known he had that other hundred, I wouldn't have called. First off, yeah, you would have. Because <laughs> if you had called $300, you would call, you call 400. Yeah. Um, but no, he accused the casino. He, he also didn't get an official count from the dealer. Right. Which in a casino, that's that the only one that matters. That guy can tell you whatever he wants. Yes. You actually don't have to give an account. You just he's... have to show. Yeah. Now, you're not supposed to keep your, low, or your higher numbered chips behind a stack of, of lower ones. 
Um, you're supposed to keep it all like visually ex- accessible yeah. so they can sum up the size of your stack. But yeah. still, he didn't get an official chip count, bef- and he said call. So that's binding, and that dude left the table. I mean, security had to take him out. Oh, I believe He it. threw a fucking fit, and he was more just pissed off that he lost the hand. Probably. Because he would have called right. if he didn't know. Uh, next one comes in from Michelle Knickerbocker. Uh, she wants to that's know. That's not a real fucking is that, name. That's uh, absolutely not a real fucking name. Is she related name. to Orville Knick- Knickerbocker? Probably. Yeah, I would guess so. Mm. Uh, but yeah. She, that's the cream corn king, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, but Michelle wants to know, never have I ever had a dirty dream about someone super unexpected. Don't you dare fucking look at me, JP. <laughs> Don't No, do that's it. expected. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, man. No, no, no. You want to hear about it? No, I don't. I don't. I absolutely do not. I have had a dream like that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Who was it? You got to say who it was. I don't have to say who it was. Okay, fine. Then don't. Uh, I had. But I've had those (laughs) dreams. (laughs) Oh, shit. I have. I have had a dream, uh, and it was not. Do you think? Do you think? That it was not the same dream. No, we did. We Are you sure? One hundred percent. Okay. Yeah, she was hot. Uh, yes, yes, I have. I, I have. Uh, very surprised. Uh, but yeah, how about you, uh, Jeremy? Sure, I have. Oh um, yeah. And what's odd is it's usually like people from high school that I haven't <laughs> seen in thirty man. years. Yes, that I forgot existed. Uh huh. And no, they're still. Yeah, they're still, they're apparently still there? they're still kicking around in there. <laughs> not not necessarily even super hot people. You Just, cheated in your dream. I sure didn't because she wasn't around there. <laughs> that was a whole different universe, Scotty. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you did that. I know. Oh, yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is Never Have I Ever. Now we get to move on to JP's favorite part of the show. That's where I draw the line. Uh, let's kick this bad boy off. And he draws off. that line with his dick. I sure does. do. He does. It's a big fucking line. <laughs> he, puts, he puts pool chalk on the end of it and just <laughs> draws a line. Oh, that's weird. Uh, anyways, yes, the very first one. Uh, it comes in from Dev Dev. Uh, he, old Dev Dev. Old that's Dev. also not his real fucking name. It's not. Uh, but he wants to know... How many times does it take to drive somewhere before you stop using GPS? That's a good question. Dude, I'm the worst. You are? I'm the worst. Okay. If it wasn't for GPS, I would be But you're high all lost. The, but you're high right. all the time. That's what I'm saying. I could drive there. I probably have to drive there ten times. Do you still use the GPS to get here? No. Okay. That's good. But that's recent. That I know. Yeah. I mean, oh. Uh, oh, it took me six months. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. 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 I and it. and wow. then it threw me off this last week. Because there is a sign for a storage facility that's usually lit yes. up that tells me where to turn, and they've covered that yes. like with a. Apparently, it's changed hands, and so they've uh-huh. put a sign over top of that sign, yes. and it's not lit up anymore. And so I almost missed my turn last time. Oh wow! Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I have no internal sense of direction uh, at all. <laughs> I live like twelve blocks from here, by the way, <laughs> and it took me oh. a while. Yeah, I have a trek. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I I would say probably I'd say six or seven. Once I've been there, I I know I know how to get there, uh, for the most part. I'm gonna go in even ten. But uh, driving to Western Kansas, I still use GPS. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't. If you miss a turn, you you can add an hour. Mm-hmm. So like that's it's definitely a big deal. But while we're talking about storage facilities, does anybody want to start a business of going and buying abandoned lockers? We can be like the the storage wars people. It, no. no. That doesn't happen. No. Come on. That's set up. Okay. It's absolutely 100% set up. up. But we can Nobody's try. keeping their diamond rings in their fucking storage lockers. You never know. And, you and do they're know. not going back for them. Yeah, you do know. Oh, well, no, people die. People die all the time, and they got the storage locker, and it gets abandoned. That's what no, happens. No, no. There's only one that, that I want to happen, die. Man. Yeah? yeah? Real bad. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I hope the door blows off your plane. Oh, fuck. 
That was scarier than shit. I would have freaked the fuck out. Luckily. Oh, I'd have lost my shit. Oh, yeah. I'd, oh, I'd have been. There ain't enough Xanax. No. There's not. No. Fuck that. I'd have been telling all my secrets. I'd have been like, <laughs> I'm sorry, Jesus, for <laughs> people. Would have, we'd have got off that flight. and They'd have been like, I wish we'd have just fucking got sucked out the door. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, because that, that ride down would have sucked. Oh. Because you know at that point, you're you still know, alive. Yeah. You hit the ground, and then you're dead. Oh, you pass out at those speeds. You're probably getting ripped in half. Really? Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, fun. Uh, I mean, <laughs> of course, of course, that one was still a sin. In that case, <laughs> well, whatever then, dude. I hope they sit you right by one of the emergency exit doors. I swear to God. I swear to God. Stop it. Stop if you, it. If you get sucked out of an airplane at cruising height, which is thirty to thirty-five thousand feet. If you don't, you're you're going about 450 miles an hour. Right. If you don't get ripped out, or if you don't get ripped apart, when you get pulled out, there's not enough oxygen. Yeah, it just... will instantly decompress. In fact, here's uh, coming from an aircraft mechanic, little known fact. You know how when a uh, airplane decompresses in the oxygen mass drop, uh-huh. that uh, won't save anyone. <laughs> um, that is when people are on pure oxygen, it mellows them out. That's basically to get them to accept the fact they're going to die and not cause a big fucking panic because there is not near enough oxygen supply on board to keep somebody alive to descend down to where you could breathe. Thanks, Jeremy. My pleasure. God damn it. That ruined my life. Okay. He's going to have three oxygen tanks on his carry on and fucking. <laughs> you're not, I always you thought, know. I always thought, I've always been scared of flying. So I always uh-huh. thought. You know what? I maybe should invest in a parachute. It doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> it here's, doesn't matter. Here's the thing about that, though. When that door sucked off, when a huge section of a cylinder comes off like that, yeah. it, it's a very strong structure, but it's all very strong because it's all putting pressure against itself. So when you rip a hole in it like that, it loses all its, mm, integrity, its structural yeah. integrity. So the fact that that thing didn't just crazy right yeah it shows how well built that they actually are god damn that's scary as fuck anyways let's move on and in case anybody's wondering i had nothing to do with that (laughs) (laughs) jeremy put the door together i sure did Uh, (laughs) that's what i do i build doors they said it was done here oh really at spirit there's a possibility whoa everything everything that i've seen four different videos now and then then it is okay 100 percent they was don't done know here what in Wichita. Part of it was. Wow. They're being incredibly tight lipped about it. Yeah. Uh, anyways, let's move on. Uh, the next one comes I'm in from Jordan. I'm, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, Jordan Johnson. I heard he had lips on there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cosmetic <laughs> surgery. Anal labia. Oh, yeah. God, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fucking hemorrhoids. Wasn't? Didn't you manage a band? Called anal labia uh, for a while. Pennsylvania lingus. Oh, okay. Uh, it was, <laughs> <laughs> but it was close. Uh, the hemorrhoid shooters. Uh, oh, next yeah. one uh, for that's where I draw the line comes in from Jordan Johnson. He wants to know how loud or long do you let your boss yell at you before you snap back? Not long. No. Mm-hmm. 30 seconds. Uh, especially if he's yelling at me for something that is not my fault. I will cut even it if off. If it's my fault, you don't have to fucking. Yell. I agree. Yeah. Especially even if it is my fault, I will. I will probably be like hey stop it I you're not it. yelling at yeah. me talk to me this way it doesn't take yeah, long. yeah it wouldn't take long not for me how about you jeremy i don't make mistakes so i don't <laughs> there you go i don't yeah. really know uh no um how about when your wife yells at you she's the boss i thought tony danza was <laughs> he just buys her another christmas tree and then she shuts <laughs> yeah. up yeah. that's right oh uh, shit no i i typically don't tolerate being yelled at for very long uh i mean unless i was just it i i have a pretty good ability to self-assess and i know if i fucking deserved it or not yeah good all right uh next one comes in from christian george he wants to know how long would you let someone stare at you before you say something well i'm used to this (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> sure you are. So I just let him stare. You just let him stare? What? Do you like twerk at him or something? Yeah, I might like fucking scratch. Oh, yeah. I might just hold it like oh, over here God. against my legs that's so they can so, see how big it is. That's fucking Because I know weird. that's what they're trying to find out. Right. Absolutely they are. So yeah, I mean, I don't, who gives a fuck? I don't care. 
people stare at me. It's always a fucking kid. It's always a kid. When I worked at Starkey, I used to take the the people that lived in the house, the residents. I used to have to take them to Dylan's and we'd yeah. grocery shop. People were constantly staring. Really? It didn't bother me. A bit. They weren't staring Piss, at you. No, but they piss me off sometimes. Yeah. Just because, like, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's always, it is attention grabbing. Never, yeah. yeah. I guess it's always I a mean, kid. It's always a little kid in like the in like a shopping cart where the parents aren't paying attention. And that's kids, what you hate, right? Like the kids just staring at yeah. you. Like you just don't like kids. I don't like kids, yeah, right? But that like I don't know if I would say something or no. Nah, I'd probably just look away and then like walk away. No, you'd probably be like, <laughs> if the parent like can't see, yeah. possibly. Yeah. But yeah, how about you, Jeremy? It really depends on who's doing it and yeah. what the situation is. I mean. There, there's different ways to stare at somebody. Sure. For one thing, there was a time in a bar. This was five, twenty years ago. Yeah, maybe longer. Um, I was at a bar back in my hometown. They have a little beer joint there, and I was playing pool. And there was this dude who was a few years older than me. He was in my brother's class, and we're just sitting there drinking, having a good time. And this guy is sitting at the bar by himself, staring at me. And it's like I don't. I contemplated saying something to him because I was just drunk enough. Yeah. But at the same time, it was like, there's absolutely nothing that I'm going to be able to say at this point that's not going to escalate that shit. Yeah. I mean, if he wants to fight or fucking stare me down, whatever, I wasn't afraid to go there. I typically don't back down from that shit, but I'm also not going to go seek it out. Sure. So, <laughs> this is how long ago this was. We are at America's Pub. Oh wow! Yeah, that's yeah, a while ago. Been a long time ago. I used to live they used to the do, street. Yeah, they used to do drag shows. Really, like once a month. I did not know that. And we were there for a drag show, and dude, I was just fucking staring at this dude, and I didn't even mean to be, but he was beautiful, <laughs> and he fucking gets up, walks over, looks me dead in the fucking eyes, and goes, "Hey man, if you fucking don't quit staring at my girl, we're gonna have a fucking problem." And yeah. I just looked up. And go, hey man, what makes you think that it's your girl I'm staring at? And I winked at him. That motherfucker turned around, walked back to his table, and never looked back over there the rest <laughs> of the night, man. It was awesome. It was really funny. That's good. Uh, we're going to skip that one. And save yeah, it for I the think last. I actually would be a lot more prone to say something if someone were staring like at my wife. Right. Oh, well, that's, that's good. Yeah. That's what he thought I was. Yeah, that's I was good. not. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Uh, we're going to skip over that one, make that the last one. Next one is coming in from Braxton Lint. Uh, how much time do you have to invest in something before someone can call you obsessed? E like, I, mm. It depends on what it is, I guess. Yeah, like mm -hmm. if it's like a fucking hobby. Let, let, let's go with uh, doing a podcast. Are we obsessed with this? I'm not. No, am definitely I, not. Am I? I, no. Probably, yeah. Okay. All I right. think you're a protege, though. You only do it once a week. I do it once a week. Yeah, and it's it. not even a... It's the inordinate amount of time you in, spend promoting it. In today's yeah. standards, oh, yeah. we're a oh, yeah. short show. I know. It's normally like three hours. Right. Yeah. We're a very short show. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, I don't think you're obsessed. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Uh, but like snowboarding, yeah, I'm obsessed. Yeah, that's... N now you have a problem. Yeah, I do have a problem. Yeah. Can Kansas, For something you get to do once a year. Once yeah, a year. Right. Once or twice. It's hard to be obsessed with it, but you are. Yeah. Yeah. I. I that's, that's that. Do, so, do you get like Snowboarders Monthly magazine or something? I follow YouTube channels that yeah, talk about that yeah, shit. Okay, oh, that's, yeah. That's the same thing. You would be sure shocked a no, kid from, I, I don't think i would be a shocked. guy from kansas knows more about snowboards than <laughs> somebody who probably sells them so yeah you know that's just me how about you jeremy um for me it's not a, a matter of how long somebody spends on you know doing something because chances are if they're doing something else they're leaving me the fuck alone that's true so i'm fine yeah. with that i don't give a shit what people do with their free time as yeah. long as they're not hurting anybody especially me I really don't give a shit. Okay. But whenever I'm around them, if it dominates everything, like if they can't have a conversation without steering it. That's good. In that direction. Yeah. That's when, you know, you know, it's obsessed. I agree. I agree. Or if they start buying bumper stickers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. And too. putting them on. Yeah. I like yeah, it. You got, you can't, you can buy the bumper sticker. Just don't put it on your fucking car. Gotcha. All right. And last one comes in from Chris <laughs> Vega. He wants to know, where do you draw the line? Jesus, where do you draw the line at the size of the cucumber that you let your significant other buy at the grocery store? 
<laughs> I don't draw the line. I kind of want her to buy the biggest one that she can find. You know? Cucumber. <laughs> Amateur. <laughs> Give me a butternut squash. You, any want, day. you want a watermelon. Want the, yeah, fucking amateurs. I just. Uh, butternut squash is more fish shaped. Yeah. That's what right. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Starts off slow, but all of a sudden. Oh, oh you don't go in wow. bulb first. No, no, you don't want to go bulb first. <laughs> At least that not is, the first That pass. is a mistake. <laughs> that is. I've made it before. Oh. It's a couple stitches and Yikes. it was fine. Oh, that's so crazy. But it was crazy. so flavorful for that soup. It was. That was <laughs> oh, a hell. Oh, my God. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, no. I, I, uh, I, do, but can I ask you a question? Do any of you guys, like, judge somebody if they're sitting over there with the cucumbers and they're, like, grabbing them and feeling them and then, like, putting them back and then putting, like, three in her bag? Would you, like, go immediately imagine of course. Okay, then yeah, I'm not the only you? one. Yeah, of so, course. But yeah, I, I, I go for it. Get as big as you want. You yeah, know. I don't know. Well, there's a that's a weird that's a weird one. How about you, Jeremy? Well, you know, produce wise, my wife only buys sweet potatoes. <laughs> 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 that's I what love she. It. But no, here's um, I don't really actually like cucumbers. Yeah, at all. She does like in salads and stuff, and. Um, the thing is, I don't have to worry about it because with cucumbers, typically the bigger they are, the less quality that they are. Right. Um, so why else would she be getting a big cucumber, Jeremy? I know that she doesn't particularly like things in her puss. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. And I know this from <laughs> the handful of times we've had intercourse. She's let me know she didn't care for what was happening. <laughs> She said, I don't enjoy this. Uh, can we hurry? <laughs> yes, you can. Oh, shit. All right. Well, that is where I draw the line for this week. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. This is Jeremy's part, favorite part of the show. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Uh, first one comes in from our favorite, Taylor Moroski. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. She wants to know, where should hookers start hanging out to increase business? Incel meetings. <laughs> oh, really? Well, yeah. They, yeah. They're not. They they really want to get laid. Okay. All right. And I mean, they're not really into respecting women so much anyway. And these Correct. women are kind of used to that. So, yeah. yeah, I'd go that route. Harbor Freight. Get yourself a free bucket and uh, start hanging out there. Guys just probably flock there to get tools. And thing is, is yeah. that people at Harbor Freight are looking for a discount. Oh, anyway. yeah. Well, what kind of hookers do you think these are? Well, I would think good ones. It's where they want to, to increase business. Okay. They're well. not looking for cheap asses. Uh-huh. Fair enough. They're looking for guys who are looking for snap-on. <laughs> okay. Not Pittsburgh. I got you. How about you, JP? Uh, anywhere there's a Magic the Gathering tournament. Oh, Or shit. Comic-Con. Yes. Or, yeah, Comic-Con, any of those places. Yeah, because oh, they, sure. they're of desperate legends. and yeah. have money. Right. Oh, exactly. yes. Absolutely. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, next one, Power Ranger animals that did not make the cut. The sloth. <laughs> That'd be a good one. <laughs> the fucking sloth. How about you, JP? I will say I would say like the jellyfish. Fuck yes, that would That'd be great. Be a sick one. Yeah. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, roadkill armadillo. <laughs> roadkill armadillo. Because <laughs> as far as I know, <clears throat> they're born that way. Yeah, that's I've right. never seen a live one. <laughs> You've never seen a live. I've armadillo? heard tell of somebody. I've seen some some Photoshop videos. Dude, they're so Wait, fast, bro. They are, and they carry leprosy. We tried to catch. Yeah, we. They too. Yeah, we tried to catch one one time. Uh, me and on a couple foot? Of with yeah, with laundry baskets. Uh, one of us had a rake, one of us had a hoe, and one of us had a shovel, <laughs> and we all had laundry baskets, and it was dark, so we had a headband, headlights. Oh God, dude, they're fucking fast. They're quick. Based yeah, on everything I've seen, you should have used a Subaru. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, right. That gets them pretty well, well. Crazy enough, that's how they ended up getting it. Like three days later, they were chasing it around, and it ran across the road at the wrong time, and it and got, somebody and got that's, it. That's how it got. Oh, yeah, man. that's how it met its demise. All right. That's why you never see armadillo boots. Yeah, because of the tire prints. Can't get them off. Uh, the next one comes in from Tyler Plackey. He wants to know what's something you would take to survive on Epstein's Island. I don't Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I don't want. Oh, 
You no, met, yeah. Oh, I like I'm the victim. You no, know, you're just going right. Viagra. <laughs> I, I mean, if I'm only going to be there for a short time, I want to get my money's worth. Uh, uh, I'm taking whatever the exact opposite is of Viagra. That's what I'm roofies. Ta- <laughs> that's a mistake. <laughs> hey, that's a mistake. I would, I, I would rather Think that now. I would rather get it than Not give it to a okay. to kid. So yeah, Very I'm good. going. I'm going anything to put me out. Uh, bu- a bullet. A gun. I bet you get roofied by kids. Probably. <laughs> That's I'm, why they're staring at you. I'm a good time. That's You're why a they're victim. staring at you. are a victim. I, I'm a good time. Yeah. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, I would take... Okay, they want three things, right? Uh, just just a thing. Oh. Yeah, just one thing. It's sunscreen. <laughs> Smart. It that's, is an island. That That's good. That, I want to get ashy. <laughs> that's mm. right. Uh, I guess I we're going to... Elbows and stuff when oh, I get yeah. burned. Oh, yeah. No, oh, thanks. Yeah. I guess no, we're, thanks. We're staying with that talk. Topic. This comes in from Ryan uh, Gearnart, I believe is how you pronounce it. Uh, he wants to know rejected names for Epstein's Island. Ooh. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Nothing. I, rejected names for Epstein Island. Yeah. Oh, God. I don't. I really don't have anything. I'm sitting here going just... Uh, McDonald's yeah. play place. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, something like that. Chuck E. Uh, Cheese Island. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese Island. I thought of that. That's great. Oh fuck the circus. Maybe that's where all the showbiz pizza places went to. Right. Yeah. The circus. Elementary school island. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that's good. Uh, Jurassic Park. Uh, just some that would just kept popping in my head, but I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, the adolescence archipelago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There we go. All right, uh, next one comes in from Marcus Venden. He wants to know the worst things to have in your car during an emergency. Anything. I like Anything would be great. A woman. Oh, yeah. fuck my wife. Oh, any, no. Any I, I, God, woman. Not here. For one, I can't. Oh, um, man. <clears throat> God, she'd be useless. She would be a problem. I would have yeah, to keep oh, her alive. my life definitely would. I, I would have to keep her alive. That's two mouths to feed. Yeah. Oh God, that would be so bad. Ugh. Yeah. My wife is my answer. How about you? I already took that answer. I don't care. I'm still I'm Very going well. with it. Yep, same one. How about you, Jeremy? Okay, wait a minute. What what do we consider an emergency? Because like for me, there was a time when I would have considered like a flat tire an emergency. Sure. But I've moved past that in my life. Now I'm not a douchebag. Yeah. I can change a tire with no real problems. In fact, I basically keep enough stuff to uh, rebuild a fucking NASCAR in my, <laughs> my trunk. Yeah. Um, Out of wood. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm going to go with uh, dildo. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, in, in, a, in a vehicle emergency, I don't feel like it's going to be helpful. Uh, you're probably correct, but you could I get bored. I keep one in my car just in case somebody ever tells me to go fuck myself. <laughs> but that's not really an emergency. That's more of a convenience. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so you just put it on you're the fucking stuck, wheel. Yeah. You're stuck in Steering quicksand, wheel. and you're nice. sinking, and you need to get out. Dildo's probably not going to, and, and the thing is, it's probably going to hinder you because you're going to want to save it. Oh, right? So now you're, too. one of your hands yeah. is taken up, or... You know your your pocket, uh, uh, <laughs> as that one kid said. Yeah. Um. So yeah, dildo, dildo, that works. Yeah. Uh, next one comes in from Craig Remington. He wants to know what's the worst way to announce a pregnancy when somebody dies at a funeral. It's like it's the circle of life. He just dead. We're bringing one in. One gets out. One goes in. The worst ways to announce a pregnancy. Yeah, that'd be oh ways shit. Places. I the oh right. worst ways. That's what I was I'm looking at. I'm sorry. Again. The I worst like, way. What's he talking about? I just hate the gender reveals. I hate the ones where they have like the softball and they they float it with blue or pink like whatever, and then they throw it and somebody misses. Like that's that's hilarious, but like I hate that. I hate to announce it that way. I think the, all the gender reveal parties are fucking stupid. They yes, don't, yeah. because you're cheering either way. Right. Yeah. It, what if somebody, like, did boo because it was pink? 
unless it's ah, fuck. Boo, it's fuck the, that bitch. It's the dad. <laughs> Get that, an abortion. You've seen it. You've seen it before. There's the dad who's who's having his seventh kid, and all six of his previous kids are girls. Are girls and and they, it's pink, and, and it's he's pink, just and devastated. He's just like, yeah, fuck. those are good videos. Those I are like good. those. Yes, I like that. How yeah. about how about you, Jeremy? What's the worst way? Oh, I would making it your last words at your public execution. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, uh, guillotine. Whatever way works for you. Firing squad, <laughs> electric chair. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's Getting wrap. Getting sucked out of an airplane. Whatever. <laughs> God damn Which it. Which can and does happen. And does happen. Oh, God. A lot more than you'd think. Shut up, Jeremy. A lot Jeremy. more than you'd think. Stop. All right. But typically only when traveling west to east. Okay, good. That's That's great. Last one comes in from Brandon Strong. He wants to know, what is a ridiculous excuse for a person to give when they... Oh, I'm sorry. What's a ridiculous excuse for a person to give when they do not want to have sex? Oh, the worst. The same one every... Oh, I got a headache. Oh, God. I have a headache. Well, I'll put my dick in your throat. Maybe that'll help. (laughs) Take two of these. Take two of these. Take two of these. Call me me in the morning. morning. Uh, Let's see. Or don't call me in the morning. What's a ridiculous excuse? My asshole hurts right now. <laughs> it's too hot. It's way too hot. Too here. hot. It's yeah, too hot. Okay, here. I like that. It's what too the, hot. What do you here. mean it's too fucking hot? That's that's. Let's take off some clothes. Yeah. Lucky for you, we're going to be taking <laughs> off some, some clothes. clothes. That's right. It's yeah, too, if you don't fuck with a fan on, oh, it's too hot. Here. You're a monster. <laughs> you're a, you're monster. a fucking monster. <laughs> fucking monster. Jeremy's behind that fan, going Luke. Luke. <laughs> <laughs> I am yeah. your father. You know, he never actually says that, Scotty. I know he doesn't. Oh, God. Yeah, I know. Uh, how about you, Jeremy? Uh, anything. Yeah. Just anything. Anything at all. There's absolutely no reason to not want to have sex with me. <laughs> You're right. I know. Not I've never figured it out. One good reason. <laughs> Perfect. If, if you are sitting there saying you don't want to have sex with me, I'm not going to believe you. <laughs> I'm, <not. laughs> I'm just going to do it anyway. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Great. You know you wanted it. Uh, that's right. Uh, all right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas. Thank you guys so very much for uh, participating in Monday Fun Day. Uh, really do appreciate all of you guys. But now, it's Friday, Scotty. Uh, oh, Monday, well, Friday. It was Monday, Friday. But yeah. Anyways, Don't lie to the fucking people. I'm not. It's too late. You've already done it. Whatever. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now we get to make, uh, or make our way to uh, a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines <laughs> Draft. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. I didn't say it like a fucker because... That's weird. I know. It's because it's Friday. Draft! Saturday, uh, yeah. fuck today is. Exactly. Uh, but, uh, nobody last knows. Nobody, nobody actually really knows. Nobody knows. Yeah. Last week, Jeremy won. Did I? Yeah. Shocker. Big, big surprise. I can't believe it. Big surprise. Uh, so that means, uh, Jeremy, you get the championship picks this week. Uh, I came in dead last again. Uh, so I get the middle also picks. Also not surprising. And JP wasn't here, so he's going to get the first pick this week. And this week's draft is going to be uh, the most annoying commercial jingles of all time. Okay? JP, you get the first pick of the most annoying jingles. Meow Mix. Fuck! Damn it. The worst. Meow, 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 I, meow, I don't meow, like cats meow, already. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, yeah. I fucking hate cats, too. Son yeah. of a bitch, that's a good one. Uh, I am, I, I was so annoyed with this fucking commercial when it ever came on. And at the time, I believe, I can't remember if Jared was still on him. The fucking, the pedal, <laughs> that, uh, $5 foot long. That's yeah, what I'm going to go. Five, five, five dollars. Dollar. Fuck that guy. Yeah, he was still there. Uh, he's uh, he's a creep. Uh, Jeremy, you get two in a row, dude. Uh, well, my most hated one of all time is one that's still currently going Liberty, 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 liberty. Who, liberty. who was the fucking <laughs> lyric genius <laughs> who came up with that? I mean, his just spreading around his use of the <laughs> English language is stunning. Yeah. And that got made into a commercial. It did. It sure did. Uh, and you get another one. Um, just because it gets so fucking overused. 
Hot pockets. Uh, hot pockets. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, I I think this is probably one of the most annoying, but I think everybody else loves it. Uh, but I've got to pick it, and that is J.G. Whitworth. Oh, you son of a bitch. 877 seven, cash, cash now. now. Yeah. Do you have an annuity <laughs> and you need cash yeah, now? No. Uh, it's so fucking addictive, and it gets stuck in your fucking head, and it won't yeah, go that's away. that's a good so one. That was that's, my next one, actually. That's why it's annoying. Uh-huh, that's why it's annoying. But, J- J.P., you get two in a row. Honda. Honda. You should be driving a Honda. Oh, I that may only be you our should dealership. Be a Honda. Oh, yes, you should drive a Schofield yeah, Honda. It, it, it I'm is. sure they use it at every dealership. They Maybe. just yeah. You could, but anyway, that's you could it. Be right. Uh, okay, and you get one more. Uh, my baloney has a first name. It's O S C A R. Yeah, <laughs> Oscar it's Meyer. Fucking annoying. Uh, Oscar Mayer has a way with B O L O G N A. They do. They yeah. don't know what the fuck's in it. <laughs> but they got away with it. It's cow hooves, man. Yeah, I don't. It's yeah. cow hooves. Don't care you for there's Oscar cow in Meyer. there. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of stuff you're, in there. You're right. It it's uh, it's definitely got something in it. Uh, but I am going to go also uh, with my next pick, uh, and that is going to be Huggies pull ups. Mommy, wow! I'm, I'm a, a big kid, kid now. now. Fuck you. That's mine. Jeremy, you get two in a row, dude. Uh, I'm going to go with what was the one that i just had in the top of my fucking head um because i'm not pulling up many lists here there are so many fucking commercial jingles yeah. i know that i know i hate and for some reason i am just blanking on all of them so i'm going to go with the uh god damn it what's i i think it's it's like just a generic they they use the same commercial, but they insert different names depending on what region you're in. But that one eight 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 eight. I think around here it's free. Devon James oh, for attorneys oh, uh, oh. personal I injury. But but that's a number you call in, and then they ask what region are you in, and then they'll connect you with whatever. Okay, uh, the accident eight 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 eight. Yeah. Okay, I think I know what you're talking about. I haven't seen it in a while, but I'll go with you. But you get another one. Okay. You'll probably still win. He probably will. I don't think I will with this one. People shouldn't vote for me on this one. <laughs> I, I would like it if people would just forget I existed. <laughs> but everybody loves you, Jeremy. And I don't care for that. <laughs> it's not my I favorite. I don't need that. Look for his uh, stand-up comedy special coming soon. Mine? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why? Yeah. I'm going to make you do it. No, you won't. I'm going to make you. I'll shoot you. <laughs> and that's not just a threat. That is a promise. I will shoot you right in the fucking face with a gun. Okay. Everybody wants it, Jeremy. I don't give a fuck what they want. <laughs> I really don't. Okay. Uh, what would you do for a Klondike bar? Oh, that's, a good, that's a good one. Damn it. I didn't even think about that one, but that's a good one. By the way, I'd murder a hobo. That's what I would do. <laughs> I love Klondike bars. I and do I not. hate hobos. <laughs> yeah. and, and not big on hobos. Uh, I, I'm going to pick one that I, I, at first, I really liked it. But uh, then I saw them basically do it in the uh, Bloodsport movie uh, with Jean-Claude Van Damme. And it was the Mentos Fresh Maker. Come oh, on. oh that Mentos. That gets better to man up than the yeah, that When they're one? on that yeah. foot chase yes. through yes. Hong Kong. Oh, yeah. God. It's so fucking annoying. It is. Yes, it is. And then they just grab each other and fall off that fucking kayak. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> it was so fucking fake. Okay. Uh, JP, you get your last two. This is definitely going to be regional, but... Uh, okay. Spangles. It oh, just tastes better. Fuck. Yes. Anything where she does her own commercials. Yeah. She oh. can't talk. She whistles. Here at Spangles, we yeah. make your order fresh Spangles. when you order it. Just a, taste better. A woman named Renee Stevens, who is the owner, I guess, of the Spangles restaurants. It's a regional chain here. And the biggest does, importer of cocaine. Yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> owned by, by a family of, that owns a lot of different businesses around Stevens. here. Stevens. Yes. And... Um, Good people. She <laughs> insists on Solid doing folks. all of her own radio commercials for, for those who don't live around here. And she can't talk. She's got a speech impediment. Yep. She was talking about their non-dairy soft serb. Oh, the <laughs> non-dairy <laughs> soft serb. <laughs> she put a B 
on the end of yeah. Serb. I, <laughs> I should win with be whether fucking, whether you know about this or not. I think I should. I, win I, you should I think you should too. You you deserve this one. I so I, I'll give it to you. Okay, thanks, man. Yep, you bet. Uh, but you get one more. Uh, this one's newer. It's uh, Ozempic. Oh, 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 Ozempic. Uh, yeah. Oh, fucking drives me crazy. That's, I hate it. And it's on the stupid. YouTubes quite a bit. It's and, on uh, the YouTubes? Yeah, when I'm watching the YouTubes. Do you comes, look up commercials? No, there's commercials. Oh. Yeah, <sighs> on the videos, you know. Okay. No, I don't. I don't watch TV. Okay. I'm really pissed off with you taking Meow, meow Mix. God damn it. That one makes me mad. That was my first pick. Um... Get Fuck. over it. I know. We've had yeah. four picks. No then. shit. The fact you're still dwelling on this shit, Scotty, is really pissing me off. Uh huh. I know. I, I do have one. Um, yeah. I'll be honest with myself. I've got two, uh, but I'm going to pick uh, the Kit Kat. Break me off a piece of that. The Fuck Kit you. Bar. I fucking hate Give that. Give me a break. I hate Give that. Give me a oh, break. Oh, God. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat. Bar. No, they're all mine. Fuck you. Uh, Jeremy, this is your last pick. What do you got? Every kiss begins with K. Oh, that's, a good oh, one. that's a good one. To quote Jimmy Son Pardo, every fuck ends with one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that's fucking great. Okay. All, all of these commercials that try to convince you that either you need to buy the woman in your life expensive jewelry or you don't really love them can all go fuck themselves with that agree. one because the slogan is annoying. Yes, yeah, it is. So I do have quite a few like honorable mentions, but I didn't want to pick them because they're so like it, for me. But do you remember the roller rider back in the eighties? Roller rider. It's a scoop board. <coughs> it's a what? It's a scoop board. That's oh, what it no. is. No. <laughs> God. I do not remember that one. That Holy was, crap. That was no bullshit back in like the late 80s, early 90s. And it will still to this day get stuck in my fucking head. And I can pull it up and it's word for word. Correct. Yeah. Oh, God. It's fucking ridiculous. Uh, but Folgers Coffee, the best part of waking the up. The best part of waking up is you Folgers shut in the your fuck cup. up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that one. And then uh, let's see. There was another one that I was going to pick and I can't find it. I can't remember what it was, though. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Anybody else got any honorable mentions? Chuck E. Cheese. Ooh. Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, yeah. Where a kid can, can be, be a, a kid. kid. Yep, I remember that one. Then what was, okay, there was another place that was basically Chuck E. Showbiz. Cheese. No, it, it didn't. they didn't serve pizza. Discovery, Discovery, Discovery Zone. Oh, yeah. DZ. Yeah. DZ was the shit. It was way better than Chuck E. Cheese. Discovery Zone was, yeah. I, is I that, believe was that only showbiz. Local? Was that local? Um, I doubt it. Okay. I would think that. I that don't know. Be. I can't remember. I wouldn't I, think so. That place was the fucking yeah, was bomb. The bomb. That was tits. Yeah. I looked this up one time. Showbiz Pizza actually bought the Chuck E. Cheese brand name oh. and then changed all their names to Chuck E. Cheese because it was a more marketable name, but Chuck E. Cheese was like, about to go out of business. Huh. So. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and then the last one, as honorable mention, is because it's not a company more. Uh, Toys, R Toys R Us. I don't want to grow oh, up. I'm, I'm a, a Toys R Us kid. kid. Fuck There's you. a million toys of Toys R Us <laughs> that I can play with. That you From can't trucks afford. to trains to <laughs> video games. It's the you coolest can't. toy store there is. Uh-huh. Yeah, fuck it. I don't want to grow up. up. <laughs> yeah, because if I did, I couldn't be a Toys R Us kid. More <laughs> games, more toys. I <laughs> <laughs> Ah oh, shit! Well, ladies, we had to finish that just because we yeah. know you don't like it, Scotty. That's right. That's yeah, that's a good. I one. think we should do I it every week. It. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's, fine. That should be the new theme song we, to this. They're not. We doing can't get with sued. It. They're out of business. There you go. Fuck they're em. actually not. They're not. There's still some. They, they, they really? claim claim bankruptcy. They mostly pair. And most of them are kids with us now. If you um, really want to get babies are us. If you really want to expand your business and get it back going again, they you should do exactly what they did and team up with Sears. <laughs> 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 they started putting their stuff in the, yeah. I believe there are nine remaining Sears stores nice. in the country. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Oh, One shit. One of them's in Overland Park. Wow. I did not know that. Yeah. Yeah, I guess where I used to work. Sears. Sears. Doesn't right. surprise me. Lots but of places. It, you were in a band. We I know was, that. I you was worked, in a band. worked in a rodeo. Well, yeah, worked in a rodeo. Fought a little bit. <laughs> uh, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's draft. You can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines, or you can go to X, which is at L-O-T sidelines, and vote for your favorite list of the most annoying commercial jingles. And whoever wins 
doesn't get a fucking thing, but they can brag if they want to. Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. Yeah. That's right, Scotty. On uh, July 17th, 1989, a man named John Huberty called a San Diego mental health clinic hoping to make an appointment for some issues he was experiencing. He left his name and contact information with the receptionist, and uh, they never got back with him. So the next day, July 18th, uh, while he was eating lunch with his wife and kids, he noted how they had not called back to him, called him back, and made the ominous statement of, well, I guess society had their chance. Um, at approximately 3.56 that afternoon, uh, he went into a McDonald's on San Ysidro Boulevard carrying a 9mm pistol, a 9mm Uzi, and a 12-gauge shotgun, and began to open fire. Uh, 77 minutes later, after a standoff with the police, he was eventually shot and killed by a sniper. Uh, ultimately, he wound up fatally shooting 21 people, 22 if you count him, and I don't, and uh, 19 <laughs> people were seriously injured. And now your child can recreate the magic of that moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos Legos, I said no fucking onions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember shit. when that happened. Uh, I remember hearing about it. Uh, but anyway, I, I remember reading about it just a little I bit ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is, of course, related to what I'm going to probably do. Uh, this week it is, would you rather get sucked out of an airplane and die or... <laughs> crash uh, or be in a plane crash into the ocean and survive i'll go first i want to be sucked out and die <laughs> really i do not like the ocean the big bodies of water and i just don't yeah no. th yeah thalas thalassophobia sure yeah yeah i don't <laughs> like it i do too yeah uh, no thank you i uh i think if i survived a plane crash in the ocean I would die of fear. Yeah. I yeah. would just legitimately get scared to death because I would imagine sharks. I, I would imagine, oh. and I, I would legitimately be scared to death. There could be anything out there. It could be anything. Oh. Absolutely anything. And you're just, <clears throat> and I'm just sitting there floating, waiting for it. Yeah. yeah I, no I, thanks. I, I'm like Rose on the door. Yeah, fuck, fuck that. that. I, I am going to be sucked out of an airplane <laughs> no. and immediately die. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm doing that. Fuck, fuck yeah. the, fuck the ocean. Fuck the ocean. Jeremy? Uh, yeah, me too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's immediate. It's like pulling off a fucking band aid. You wouldn't feel anything. I mean, maybe a couple of seconds of fear before you got sucked out, but yeah, you really wouldn't have time to even react or think of anything before it killed you. But also here's a fun fact. Uh, when, you're traveling abroad and going to Asia or Europe or whatever, and you have to cross an ocean. A lot of times they go west to east and they take a northern route. A lot of times they'll go over Antarctica uh -huh. to get there. So if you crash into the ocean, it's going to be cold as fuck. <laughs> right. You're maybe going to get found. Maybe not. Maybe you're going to be shark food. And I'm guessing the guy sitting next to you still won't shut the fuck up. <laughs> and that kid keeps kicking the back uh -huh. of my seat. <laughs> yeah, because the, the bottom of your seat can be used as a flotation device. I don't yeah. know if you guys knew that. Yes, I did absolutely. They tell you that before you take off. Yes, they do. Sure did. Uh, you know, in case, in the unlikely event of a water landing, you know, to that flight to fucking Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If we end up in the water, something went real wrong. Yeah. We should, we, we're going to know that well in advance. You're going to find the lake. Uh -huh. That's what's going to happen. Oh, shit. Ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines po podcast. And I'm glad that all three of us, we had a clean sweep of this yeah, week's man. shitty situation. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, look uh, look out for Jeremy Joseph's new comedy special that's, yeah. uh, that's going to come out. We don't know when. Uh, it's called The N Word. <laughs> And no, I'm not going to censor it on the title. If Richard Pryor can do it, I can too. 
Wow. And it'll be coming out uh, when hell freezes over. <laughs> Which should be happening any time yeah, now, it's by the way. Right now. It's going to get pretty cold, probably during the Chiefs game. Probably. Uh, but that's right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for everything that you guys do for the show. JP, thank you again for coming Absolutely. on. I sincerely appreciate it. And obviously, Mr. Jeremy Joseph, thank you very much. Fuck off. Thanks. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, we sincerely do appreciate everything that you guys do uh, helping the show grow. Uh, and you do that uh, by doing us a favor and telling all of your friends if you like us. But if you don't like us, I hope you get fall down drunk and the guy you <laughs> asked to help to support you while you piss <laughs> kicks your legs out from under you and you wind up crushing your prize winning rose bush. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> Until next time. Keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care.